Not to brag or anything, but I've coached over 70 blog coaching clients and helped thousands of bloggers that were enrolled as students in my blogging courses start and grow profitable blogging businesses. And the one thing they all had in common, they all wanted to be able to create high quality content for their blogs faster and in a more efficient manner. Hi there, my name is Anna and I'm a blogging coach and strategist passionate about helping bloggers thrive online. And one of the requirements for them to do so is to create and publish high quality content regularly. In fact, for brand new blogs and websites, it can take up to 50 to 100 articles to get out of the Google sandbox that they put you in when you're a newbie blogger and kind of establish yourself as an authority in your niche. If you're smart about it, you can find ways to churn out content in a way that's organized and proficient. In fact, I've developed a proven system that helps helps you create an entire year's worth of blog content in just one month. It's packaged as a super fun blogging challenge that will keep you accountable to follow through with the process and I'll leave a link below if you want to check that out. P.S. I have nearly a thousand students already enrolled in it. But what if your time is limited or you have a really low budget so you can't really outsource any of the content creation outside of yourself? Well there's one thing left to try. AI generated content. I'll be honest with you, I have my reservation about this. Do we really need more low quality, low substance content out there? Doesn't the blogging world have enough of that? And more importantly, can this actually work? Will an AI software be able to create content that speaks to your audience in the same sort of voice and tone that incorporates your essence and has all the capability of being content that ranks in Google? Well, let's test it out. A few people I know recommended Jarvis AI and I want to give it a try, but I want to take you along because like I do with most things that I recommend to my blogging audience or to my clients, I always test them out first and I got a link to try them out for free for the first 10,000 words. So that's more than enough to try them out for a couple of different blog posts. That's what I'll be doing now. But if you want to follow along and test out the same process and get the 10,000 words for free, make sure to check out my link below. That way you too can test them out before you commit to anything. So let's dive in and see what they're actually capable of. So like I said, I'm going to go through the whole process with you. And this is Jasper's sign up page if you follow the link uh, that I provided to get you that free trial. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of try my own link, then simply sign up for a new account. And then the next thing that you need to do is tell them a little bit about your business. And of course, you can use Jasper to create all kinds of content, not just blog posts, but you can select what you plan to use them here and change it later as well. So you could just select blog posts for now and take it from there. And then to activate your account, just make sure to select one of the free trials available to you. You will need to connect your cards, but you won't need to pay them anything and you can cancel at any time. All right, let's get started. So they have this fancy dashboard and I'm assuming you just need to start a new document. I'm just going to go with start from scratch and see what they come up with. And they're basically asking you to start writing it. So a couple of the things that I immediately see is here on the side, the things that you need to provide for them to start writing for you. So I'm going to go ahead and choose an article that I was planning to write for my pet blog anyways and see how good they deal with it. So let's have a look. My article was a response to a very simple question. Are corgis hypoallergenic? And in the content brief or description, I'm just going to echo that title. I'm going to put informational in the tone of voice. I don't know if that matters a lot. And in the keywords bit, I think it's where you're meant to input your keyword research, which is actually quite helpful because if you've watched my previous videos on how I come up with blog post ideas, I always do keyword research first. So for this article, I have three main keywords, are corgis hypoallergenic, corgi and allergies, and are corgis a good dog breed if you're allergic, let's say. And I think here you are limited by uh, three main keywords. So kind of stick with your main ones. Let's see. I'm just going to go with compose and see what it comes up with. Okay. Okay. So what this did, it created an introduction for me, which is always something that I struggle with so much when it comes to writing articles. Um, and it actually reads quite well. So I could definitely couldn't tell that this was written by a robot. 
They're like corgis that are a popular dog breed, known for their stubby legs and friendly dispositions. They're also hyperallergenic, which means they're less likely to trigger allergies in people who are sensitive to pet dander. If you're considering adding a corgi to your family but are concerned about allergies. And then it's asking you to continue writing a little bit on your own. So they get an indication of basically what's happening and how they can continue that narrative wire, which I kind of like because you're not leading letting them go to your, their own devices, where if they get too much in depth with a post in the wrong direction, you're just gonna have to start all over. And now you're just about to see some of my writing skills in action, I guess. Let's see what we can come up with. So all I've done is complete their sentence and then you can move on to the next compose stage of it. And they're gonna come up with the next part of it. So what I've done here is they added a little bit of context about allergies, which is always something that I try to add to my articles for SEO and then for the user's benefit as well. But when you're able to add a little bit of backstory um, on the main topic, which is here, like what are allergies in the first place? So we're just gonna kind of carry on on that path of answering a couple of questions before we tell people if corgis are hypoallergenic or not. And then it filled out some more of this. So it's written a hundred and nearly 200 words in three clicks um, and m me spending less than three minutes doing this, which is already great progress. And what this tool does really well is that they keep giving you that extra step that you need to write about based on their intel that they have about this topic. So they're actually helping me outline my post in a way and then I can go back and kind of beef up certain sections on my website, um, add the main sources, things of that nature. But it really helps with the tedious process of explaining findings or kind of framing that outline for the post where you just don't know how to get started. And all they're asking you to do is kind of complete some of the sentences and kind of lead the path for them. So for example, they started, if you're allergic to dogs but still want to adopt a corgi, and they're basically asking you what next? Should you maybe instead consider other breeds? Or instead, I wrote there are a couple of precautions you can take just to see where it leads me. So already they came up with three tips that are so great and so on point that I already found in my research independently. So the tool does really great work at this, but I'm wondering if there's a way to get them to dictate a whole blog post or do you have to keep intervening a little bit? Okay, so I answered my own question quickly. Jasper has this thing called recipes where they write the outline and the commands for their software to do the work and they have one for blog posts. In other words, in a document, you can write this recipe content and just replace what's in these paragraphs with your actual topic, outlines, and other ideas, especially the conclusion. So if you want an article to go a certain way, you could just let them know. But yes, Jasper does this really great thing where you can give them commands that I found super helpful. For example, you can go back to your document and write rewrite blog title and then just give them the command and they write you an alternative title. You can do the same for rewriting paragraphs or writing specific things. Just give them commands. So they're already doing such a great job kind of following the narrative of whatever I'm writing. I just need to write one sentence and they give me three, four paragraphs full of great tips that I can then break down further. So you can kind of place a cursor anywhere in here to kind of expand on a section if you feel like they moved on too fast. But already I've just been doing this for a couple of minutes and it's I've written 400 words. I would not have done that on my own. That's a record that uh, not even after five, six years of blogging, I can reach in terms of my writing speed. So I'm already impressed with what it can do. And the only thing that obviously this needs is just the sources to back it up, especially for articles like this, where it includes some research needed. I then go and cite different sources and link them into my articles. 
And what I like about this is that they're able to deviate a little bit from the main topic if I write something closely related, but I'm just trying to offer other context or just a very fun bit at the end, like quirky fun facts, for example. So you really can take this anywhere, but you keep, need to keep giving the software a little bit of guidance. So I think if you're starting off with your own outline and have points and sub points, it will make it so much easier to write this because you can take them down the exact path that you had in mind. So already I have written nearly 700 words super quickly. I can take this to my blog post, make a couple of quick changes and have it published in a couple of hours. This is incredible. Uh, I'm definitely a lot more impressed by it than I thought I would be. So as you've seen, the tool does a great job of doing that. The only thing that it, uh, the only part of it that it's a little bit frustrating is that they sometimes stop the software mid sentence. And I don't know where that sentence is meant to go necessarily. So I don't know if I had, they had a better idea in mind than what I was creating. Also, I just realized that my output length have been selected as medium. So maybe I just need to put it as longer. Maybe that will make them write more. And it's something that's definitely one of those things when you learn a new tool that you wish you knew earlier on for sure. So we can see where this goes uh, with one more final question. So that in fact did finish the sentence. So I recommend if you're testing this out, make sure to select the uh, longer output right there. And I don't know if I missed anything else to do with that. No, I think I have it all covered. But already this is like a, a nearly 900 word blog post that was created in literally five minutes. So I am not mad at it, especially for a post that's meant to be quite straightforward. It still added a lot of depth and um, little interesting twists to it, making it less boring. And it just compiled all the information and the research that I already had on this topic. So I don't really think it misses the mark, able to be specific enough with your title, your description, of course, your keywords, and just the overall guidance you give it. And there you have it. In conclusion, I think if you want to be smart with your time, then AI generated content is worth a try, especially if posting content for you is a priority that you can no longer ignore. And you're tired of spending five to six hours working on a single blog post, because I know that can be the case sometimes. And it takes you away from other tasks that are more important in your business that you can't outsource. But it's essential that you look over the content they generate. You make edits, you make it fit your niche, your goals. You want to improve on the quality of the content that they generate from you and not just post it as it is. But that in itself tends to be a process that takes a little bit less time. And also they might come up with some content that you wouldn't have thought of in terms of hitting those kind of keywords and topic ideas that Google wants. But the good thing is that you can't really tell that this has been written by a robot. If you want to use Jarvis AI for your own business or just take advantage of the free 10,000 words trial, be sure to check out my link below for to get started and use. And I'm curious to know if Jarvis will work for your niche. Let me know in the comments. But if you're interested in learning how to write content by yourself instead that is optimized for SEO and that it targets your readers' needs and wants, make sure to check out my one year of blog content in one month challenge that I will also leave a link below with a cheeky discount. As always, thank you for watching. Your time and attention doesn't go unnoticed and I appreciate you so much for supporting me and my YouTube channel. This motivates me to create more free content for you guys to enjoy. So if you want me to test out any specific software or tools and give you my honest opinion on it, let me know because I'm here trying to find tools and solutions that will make your life easier when you run a blogging business. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the bell if you want to be notified for new videos and I will see you soon.